Hi, I'm Andy Cunningham from ConnectTribune.ie here with a look at some of the stories we've got for you in this week's Galway City Tribune. The biggest Galway continental Christmas market in its five-year history is set to return on Friday night and generate a boost of almost 20 million euro for city traders. Already, many city hotels running special deals are booked out for the five weekends of the market, which is running for 32 days over four weeks. From boom to bunk, it was once the building where developers and bankers shook hands on property deals worth hundreds of millions of euro, but now the former Anglo-Irish bank premises on Forster Street looks set to become an upmarket tourist hostel with more than 200 bed spaces. The traveller families living in a DIY halting site in Dehishka have pleaded with Galway City Council to allow them stay there until they get local authority housing. There are seven adults and seven children living on the site, including a three and a half year old deaf girl who has just had an implant operation to help her hear. The extended members of the Barish family were ordered by the council to vacate the local authority wasteland last week, but are refusing to move. The owners of a late 19th century building on Upper Abbeygate Street have been ordered to plaster over its original red brickwork by Gawi City Council. The by the book ruling was made by the local authority on the three-storey building which you probably know now for housing the Dobro's Pizzeria at the moment. Work started this week on plastering over the bricks following uh, threats of legal action by the council. We have a feature on historian Willie Henry's new book titled Galway Through Time and Tide Volume 4. Just like the previous volumes, it's a unique collection of stories about Galway and its people. And we talked to Westside man Mike Gibbons, who was in a helicopter crash nine years ago that left his best friends dead, and how writing his new book, Survivor, has helped to rebuild his life. We have lots of photos, too, from the uh, Galway Chamber Business Lunch and from GMIT graduations. And in sport, all eyes will be on the sports ground on Friday night for the debut of All Blacks legend Mills Mulaina when Connacht take on Zebra in the Guinness Pro 12 while Salt Hill man Eamon Nocton has been re-elected for another year as chairman of the FAI National League Executive Committee, having stood unopposed for the position. And the Tribes Water Polo Club girls squad won the Under-19 All-Ireland Cup in UL last Sunday. So we've got all that and much more in this week's paper. We're in shops early Friday morning or to buy online at connachtribune.ie where you can also download our app and get a free seven-day trial.